For centuries, the Japanese have consumed a strange, stringy, fermented soybean food called nato. It's infamous for its pungent smell and sticky texture, but it might explain why Japan has one of the lowest rates of heart disease in the developed world. The secret appears to be an enzyme called natokinase, and recent research suggests it could be a game-changer for heart health. But is this supplement worth adding to your daily routine? Or is it just another health fad with minimal evidence? Today we're diving into the fascinating science behind natokinase, exploring what the latest research actually shows, and uncovering the potential risks that manufacturers won't tell you about. You will discover exactly how this enzyme works in your body, who should consider taking it, and most importantly, who should absolutely avoid it. Natokinase, often abbreviated as NK, isn't actually a kinase at all, despite its name. It's a powerful enzyme first discovered in 1980 by Japanese researcher Dr. Hiroyuki Sumi while studying the traditional food natto. When soybeans are fermented using the bacteria Bacillus subtilis, this enzyme is produced naturally. Dr. Sumi was initially shocked by how quickly this compound dissolved blood clots in his laboratory tests. So, what makes natokinase so special? Unlike many other proteolytic enzymes that get broken down during digestion, natokinase can actually be absorbed intact through your intestinal tract. Once in your bloodstream, it goes to work through multiple mechanisms that could benefit your cardiovascular system. Its primary action is breaking down fibrin, a protein that forms the structural foundation of blood clots. This fibrinolytic activity helps dissolve existing clots and may prevent new ones from forming. But that's just the beginning. Natokinase also enhances your body's natural clot dissolving system by increasing tissue plasminogen activator TPA levels while reducing plasminogen activator inhibitor 1, PAI1, which normally slows down clot breakdown. Recent research has uncovered even more potential benefits. Natokinase appears to lower blood pressure by inhibiting angiotensin converting enzyme similar to how certain prescription blood pressure medications work, but through natural pathways. It also shows promising anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties that could help prevent atherosclerosis, the hardening and narrowing of arteries that leads to heart attacks and strokes. But the real question is, does it actually work in humans, not just test tubes? Multiple clinical trials suggest it does, at least for certain cardiovascular markers. One meta-analysis examined six randomized controlled trials with 546 participants and found that natokinase supplementation resulted in average reductions of 3.5 millimeters of mercury in systolic blood pressure and 2.3 millimeters of mercury in diastolic blood pressure. While these might seem like small numbers, even modest blood pressure reductions can significantly lower your risk of heart disease and stroke over time. The effects appear to be dose-dependent. More significant benefits have been observed at higher doses of 4,000 fibrinolytic units or more. When it comes to blood clotting parameters, studies show that natokinase can reduce levels of fibrinogen and other clotting factors after just two months of supplementation. One study even found that a single dose increased blood fibrin degradation products within just four hours, confirming its immediate effects on blood thinning. Particularly exciting is a 2024 study that combined natokinase with red yeast rice in patients with stable coronary artery disease. This combination significantly reduced triglycerides, total cholesterol, and diastolic blood pressure while increasing good HDL cholesterol. The researchers noted that the combination worked better than either supplement alone, suggesting a synergistic effect that could be particularly valuable for heart patients. However, the evidence isn't uniformly positive. A three-year trial in healthy older adults using a daily dose of 2,000 FU found no significant slowing of atherosclerosis progression compared to placebo. Similarly, lower doses don't appear to meaningfully improve cholesterol levels. This suggests that dosage matters significantly, and natokinase might be more beneficial for people with existing cardiovascular issues rather than as a preventive measure for healthy individuals. Before you rush to add natokinase to your supplement regimen, you need to know about its potential risks, which are considerable for certain people. The primary concern stems from its very mechanism of action, blood thinning. 
While this property is what makes it potentially beneficial, it also creates serious risks for specific populations. For instance, natokinase is generally contraindicated for anyone with bleeding disorders or those currently taking anticoagulant or antiplatelet medications like warfarin, heparin, clopidogrel, or even daily aspirin. The combination could dramatically increase bleeding risk to dangerous levels. There have been documented cases of serious bleeding events, including a concerning report of natokinase-associated bleeding in the peritoneal cavity of an elderly woman who unfortunately passed away. Another case involves someone who decided to substitute their prescribed warfarin with natokinase, resulting in the formation of a dangerous thrombus in their mechanical heart valve that required emergency surgery. This highlights a critical point. Natokinase is not a replacement for medically prescribed blood thinners despite what some alternative health sources might suggest. Even if you're healthy, you should stop taking natokinase at least two weeks before any scheduled surgery to prevent excessive bleeding. Pregnant and breastfeeding women should also avoid it due to limited safety data. Additionally, natokinase may lower blood pressure too much in people already taking antihypertensive medications, potentially causing dizziness or fainting. It's worth noting that natto itself contains high levels of vitamin K2, which can interfere with the action of warfarin. While purified natto kinase supplements usually have vitamin K removed during processing, this isn't always the case. Another reason why communication with your healthcare provider is essential before starting this supplement. So, what's the bottom line? If you're considering natto kinase, typical evidence based doses range from 2,000 to 4,000 FU daily about 100 to 200 milligrams, though some studies showing significant benefits have used much higher doses around 10,800 FU daily. For maximum absorption, it's best taken on an empty stomach, either 30 minutes before meals or two hours after eating. When shopping for supplements, look for products standardized by fibrinolytic units, FU, with third-party testing verification. If you're on warfarin or other anticoagulants, specifically check that the product contains minimal vitamin K. In context, natokinase represents just one potential tool in the larger arsenal of heart health strategies. The foundations of cardiovascular wellness remain unchanged. A heart-healthy diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Regular physical activity. Avoiding tobacco. Maintaining healthy weight blood pressure and cholesterol levels, and getting adequate sleep. Natokinase may complement these approaches for certain individuals, but it should never replace them or prescribed medications. Expert opinions on natokinase remain cautiously optimistic, but emphasize the need for more comprehensive research. While preliminary studies are promising, major cardiovascular organizations like the American Heart Association and European Society of Cardiology don't specifically endorse natokinase supplementation yet, suggesting the evidence base still doesn't meet their rigorous standards for widespread recommendation. The most suitable candidates for natokinase supplementation might be adults with prehypertension or borderline high triglycerides and LDL cholesterol who prefer natural approaches as adjuncts to lifestyle changes. Those at moderate risk of venous thromboembolism who cannot tolerate aspirin might also benefit though this is not yet endorsed by clinical guidelines. Natokinase represents the fascinating intersection of traditional food wisdom and modern scientific validation. While it shows genuine promise for supporting heart health through multiple mechanisms, it's not appropriate for everyone and carries significant risks for certain populations. As with any supplement, the decision to use natokinase should be made in consultation with healthcare providers who understand your complete medical history. What do you think? Have you tried natokinase or other natural supplements for heart health? Share your experiences in the comments below. And if you found this information valuable, please consider subscribing for more evidence-based health content that cuts through the hype to give you the facts you need.